to gather signatures. Otherwise, you'll have no delegates. Otherwise, you'll have no Ron Paul on the ballot. You've got five weeks. Five weeks. That takes some focused determination to figure out what the rules are and to figure out who's going to be responsible. And it's all up to you. Yes, sir. Um, is, do we go to the State Department or the uh, Republican Party? Because we're trying to get on the Go Republican to the State Department. Party dog. Go to the State Department. The State Department is in charge of elections. Where is the State Department? In Harrisburg? The Department the of State building? is in the North Office Building, right off the Capitol in Harrisburg. North Office Building. The Bureau of Commissions, Elections, and, Legis and uh, le uh, Legislation is on the second floor. Is that a federal entity or a state entity? That is a state office. Election, elections are state-run um, events. Although you're electing a federal can or attempting to elect a federal candidate, elections are handled by state. Uh, that's state jurisdiction. Yes. In the event that we find time, mm -hmm. um, can we just, just show up the there and tell them we're looking for the North Office, and we can talk to somebody at the spot, or is it something? Absolutely. We have to Absolutely. You just walk in and you say, you go to the receptionist. Her name's Kim Mumma. She's very, very nice. Just walk in and say, I'm here to get information about running for Republican uh, delegate to the Republican National Committee or, Committee. or I'm here to get information about putting someone on the ballot uh, for the office of president in Pennsylvania. Somebody will help you. Some, they're very kind. They're very professional. Um, and all you have to do is be nice to them, and they will not bite your heads off. Very nice people at the Department of State. Very professional. Um, so you have five weeks to do this. And you have five <coughs> weeks to interface with other Ron Paul groups so that you're not um, getting, stepping on everybody's toes. Nothing. This is one thing that you're going to find with a group like this. This is, that's a lot of people who are new to Pollux politics and, and a lot of people who have not done this before. Number one, form a chain of command. Who's in charge of what? And make sure that that person is actually willing to do that. Make sure that you're one of those people. That you are taking control of some aspect of this campaign to get people on the ballot and that you actually follow through and do your job. 20 signatures is not much for a team of two to get. You can get it in an hour, actually. You can put uh, delegates on the ballot and put Ron Paul on the ballot in an hour in Pennsylvania. But you have to have coordination between different Ron Paul meetup groups. Any other questions? Yes, Jim. What about, um, we've talked about getting a bunch of delegates, like trying to, you know, because some different people have expressed it. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, it you sounds harder now. It sounds, you know, would that well, be, would I, that help I, out? I think that's dependent, and this is where my ignorance come to, comes into play, and maybe someone else here knows uh, how the alternate delegates are selected. Does anyone else know? Okay. In my mind, I don't know that alternate delegate would be a separate office, so I'm thinking that the logic, no, this is government, so maybe it doesn't work this way, but the logical <laughs> thing to do is to have the guy who gets the fourth highest votes be the first alternate and the fifth highest votes to be the second alternate. You have to find out the mechanics of how that alternate system works before you decide how many delegates you want to put on, put on the ballot. Now there's also something to be said uh, for, uh, for instance, let's say we put um, Dave, Dave, Dave Gary on the, on the ballot as a delegate. Well, let's see, let's say that the voters in what district are you in? I'm in the 19th. I'm the voters in the 19th district have a love-hate relationship with Dave Gary. Well, some people might vote for somebody else just because they're not Dave Gary. So there may be uh, an argument there to be made to have someone else on the ballot. Um, and you want, I think, I think one of the things that you're thinking about when you're putting delegates on the ballot is name recognition. Because nobody knows who these people are. And it's a little known Republican Party and Democratic Party secret uh, that in those offices where nobody really knows what they do, 
that name recognition is, is, is the selling key. Um, so you'll want, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be someone who is actually, actually has recognition for their name, but a simpler name is better, like Jones or Smith is better than Rujanuski. <laughs> you know, because people can identify with Joseph Smith better. I mean, it's a sad commentary on, on the mentality of the electorate, but that's the way it is. You know, so if they, if they see a name, name they recognize, likely they'll vote for that name. But there is something, you've got to find out the mechanics of how the alternate system works before you decide how many people are going to run for delegate and how many people you're going to actually uh, positively put on the ballot. Um, First, you want to find those people, too. And that's the other reason why you have to interface with the other people in your congressional district. Because if the Ron Paul Schuylkill group is thinking about three people from Schuylkill County, you don't want the Ron Paul Dauphin group to be putting three people from Dauphin County. I mean, you're just going to pollute the vote then. That's all you're going to do is you need to have a concerted effort. And somebody needs to be the point man and the liaison for every other group within the congressional district. The Schuylkill example, because they would be going in the same congressional district, but different counties. They would be in the 17th district. Right. Uh, for instance, the 17th district covers, um, it's either all or a vast majority of Schuylkill. It covers all of Lebanon, covers all of Dauphin, covers a portion of Perry, and covers about half of Berks. So you've got a wide area there, and you've got a wide selection of people who you could possibly put on the ballot. I mean, the, the strategy there would be pick one person from Dauphin, one from Lebanon, one from Schuylkill, uh, and maybe one from Perry, and maybe one from Burks, if you're only going to you know, go for that and you're not worried about the alternate thing. Now, the alternate thing may throw that, but somebody needs to find out how that system right. works. Somebody needs to take ownership of that <clears throat> and not assume that somebody else in the Ron Paul meetup group is taking care of that. So do we have somebody that's going to do that? Can you do it, Jim, or? To do, do what? To coordinate with these other groups. I mean, does somebody here got more time on their hands than somebody else? I, I don't know. Let me talk to Norm Brookings in... Uh, state coordinator. Yeah, I mean, the state coordinator is almost going to have to be someone that talks to each individual uh, congressional district to oversee all that. I, I, don't have, I don't have the resources to do that. What about Dave? Just real quick, just to recap what he said. For the people here that don't know which congressional district you're in, the 17th is all of Dauphin, all of Lebanon, all of Schuylkill, part of Perry, part of Berks. The 19th is all of York County, Adams, and half of Cumberland County. So if you're like Carlisle to Mechanicsburg to Camp Hill to Lemoyne, that is all the 19th district. What I suggest we do here is we have two people in this group, one that takes care of the 17th and one that takes care of the 19th. For the 19th district, we already have a group in York. As far as I know, they have three solid delegates already. So they're looking for a fourth. If it's somebody from that part of Cumberland County, that's great, that's fine. It could be any one of us or somebody with some name recognition that's not in this group, that has that maybe been a delegate, been in the Republican Party for a long time, but now firmly supports Ron Paul. That's the big thing. I would rather have somebody from our meetup group that's obviously going to vote for Ron Paul, and we could spend our time gaining the, the, the name recognition through canvassing and the signs and stuff like that. So basically, I think right now what we need is one person, because the 17th district, that's, we got, we got our group, Probably about third to a half of our group is in Dauphin County. And we got a group that just started in Lebanon County. They're very small. We've got a group up in Schuylkill, Lycoming, but that's two counties, and, and there's probably not many people from Schuylkill County that are in the Ron Paul meetup group there. Redding, I think, is a fairly large group. I think Schuylkill's just getting started. Redding's about 30, 35. Okay. And, uh, but, but just based on what Dave just said, you see how complicated this is to interface with other people in your congressional district. That's why you need one person in charge of it. One person who's willing to take that on. And I don't think it should be Jim, because Jim's 